As the investigation into surveillance abuses of the Obama-era FBI and DOJ continues, concerns are being raised about a possible FISA secret court. One America's John Hines has more from Washington. The 1978 Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act created a secret federal court to hear applications from FBI and intelligence agencies when they want to engage in electronic surveillance. By law, the surveillance is primarily on foreign actors and only incidentally the Americans they may encounter. It's a secret court. Uh, the Chief Justice of the United States appoints its members. Um, they serve, I think, for seven years. And uh, there is supposed to be a process there to ensure that the government is not abusing its authority uh, under the law because, uh, you know, they're engaging in something very serious, secret surveillance of individuals, particularly Americans. And it is that surveillance of Americans, says Hans von Spakowski, a senior legal fellow at the Heritage Foundation, that has created so much controversy over the secret warrant process. Well, let's talk about the, the FISA warrant that everyone's uh, looking at in the news, which is the uh, warrants that were issued to begin the electronic surveillance of members of the Trump transition team. Um, the FBI has to submit uh, an affidavit in which they swear that the facts and circumstances are true. Most importantly, the FBI agent and the DOJ, Justice Department lawyers involved, are all swearing that the information they're providing to the court is something that they have investigated and believe is true. What's more, says Von Spakowski, the FBI and DOJ must explain why it is that they believe someone is acting as an agent of a foreign power. And if this basis for a warrant is misleading or unfounded, the surveillance evidence obtained cannot be used, he says. If it turns out that the FBI either lied to the court or misled the court, then it may mean that whatever they found through that electronic surveillance may not be able to be used. It could be thrown out by a judge. The judge could uh, sanction the FBI himself in his courtroom. Uh, the Justice Department could then engage in separate criminal prosecutions of individuals who misled the court. This could have particular relevance in the case of General Mike Flynn, for instance, whose guilty plea could be reversed if the evidence presented was based on a warrant obtained with dubious information. John Hines, One American News, Washington. We can use your help. Call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call today.